What's up y'all? So today's video is a suggestion made by this guy right here. He wants to know how we can use HowlerJS to play an audio clip from the internet and not from our local machine. So this will be a very quick tutorial uh, just demonstrating how we can do this and let's get into it. Alright so the first thing you want to do is if you haven't done so already create a react app and start it up but if you have done that I'm going to create a new terminal right here and go into our project folder and I'm going to install Howler. So npm i Howler dash dash save. Now while that's happening, I'm going to just put in our two audio clips that I got from the internet and uh, I'm just going to comment them out right here. Let's put a comment there. And you gotta remember that every single audio clip has to be an mp3 or else convert it to an mp3 uh, just for this uh, tutorial. And I'm just going to do class app extends, com not comment, component, and automatically import it, cool. Render, I'm going to get rid of this curly brace right here, put it at the very bottom like sha. And I'll just get rid of this stuff right here, I'll just do an h1 or h2 that says yellow. Save that. Nice. All right, now that we've installed everything that we need, I'm gonna just go ahead and import Howl from Howler. And I'm gonna create a function that's gonna be responsible for playing the sound. So I'll call it sound play source and inside of there, I'll just do const sound is equal to new howl curly braces. There we go. There we go. And so this is going to take two parameters. One is going to be source, and the other one is going to be HTML5 true. So the HTML5 true is responsible for if you don't have it there, then there's going to be a cores error that won't let us play a sound from an external source. So that's why we need that there. Nice. All right, so now I'm gonna make the array of objects for our sounds. So right underneath our links here, I'll just do const audio clips array. And inside of here, I'll just make an object and I'll give it a parameter sound and we'll just put in our first sound right here. Comma, and we'll give it a label of, let's do rainforest. Forest. There we go. And comma here, and we'll make another sound. So sound, and we'll import this. It's supposed to be an uppercut, an uppercut sound. So I'll give it label upper cut. Save that. All right. So now what we're going to do is create a function that's going to be responsible for rendering our button and to play our sound on the click of a button. So I'll call it render button sound and the ESX syntax right in here. I'll just do a return audio clips dot map sound obj and index. I'll also so inside of return we'll do a button. Whoops, not a bottom. A button. And inside of here, I'll just do sound, sound obj dot label. And I'll do key is equal to index and on click, on click is equal to arrow this dot sound play. And I'll give it the parameter sound obj dot sound. Save that. And now let's just render it right here. Actually, I'll just keep that there. I'll just do a um, make a title sounds. And right underneath it, I'll just do the function. So this dot render button sound. Save it. And let's see if this works. Nice. So it does work. 
All right, so you guys probably might not have been able to hear that, so I'm just gonna put my headphones close to the mic. This is what it sounds like. Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly recap what we got done. So we imported Howler, and we imported MP3 sounds from the internet from an external source that's not on my local machine anywhere. And uh, we created a function to be able to play the sound. Um, we needed this HTML5 uh, to be uh, a Boolean equal to true, because if we don't, we get a course error, and then the audio will never work. And we also render the button right here, and just call the function down here. All right, hopefully you all enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to play audio from an external source. Smash that like button for me, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.